Hi everyone, this is Christine Triviti. I hope you have a great day today. So there's three things that I'd like to talk about today and this is just my honest review. So lately the past few days I've been having crashes on my PC, which is not a good thing for especially when you have scheduled to do live streaming. So first and foremost, since I've been streaming as a on-cam and VTuber um, content creator, I've always been using OBS Studio, which prior to a lot of things that are adding to the plugins right now, which like, for example, Atheum Multi-Streaming and uh, Vertical Layout and all that stuff, I was using it just for, for me to be able to use my VTube model, you know, like a lot of the plugins that I typically use um, with OBS and it's more functionality because it, it integrated to a lot of the web sockets um, especially like connecting my mix it up app to it um, so overall OBS was still my number one but lately um, after using it um, when I purchased my PC just a week ago I was having issue with crashing so how to resolve it I went to my BIOS and I forgot that I have to enable something called the memory expo and it says that um, if I enable that it actually increases the performance of my PC which did resolve the issue of my crashing but before we get into it um, I do have an honest review on some of the live studio that i have using it um, this past few days so one was Prism Live Studio. I use it and try it. There's a couple of pros and cons to it. Pros is that it is actually a multi-stream integrated to it as well. But the cons of it is that you have to subscribe to be able to use the multi-streaming on Prism. But it has a lot of functionality. It actually allows you to uh, stream um, not using any other tools um, if you have PNG and if you want to live stream uh, using PNG because they also have a mobile access to it. So that's the good thing about Prism because not a lot of live studio has the mobile capab uh, capability of it. So uh, in my opinion, Prism is actually good for VTubers, PNG tubers who likes to live stream using that. Um, and also, I one thing um, that I like about Prism is that it also allows you to do Sprout um, plugin, which is what a lot of um, VTubers using now these days. Um, you can still use it on OBS or any other uh, live studio, but Prism is built in for it, which is a good thing. Anyway, but it still didn't work for me because it did still crashed on me, so. Prior to that of the solution of when I enabled something on my BIOS, it still crashed on me. But honestly, Prism is still a good thing, but I don't like the subscription of it when I do use the multi-stream. Because now, a lot of days, um, the multi-streaming is actually free for a lot of the live studio anyway. So anyway, after all that, um, when I tried it, my friend recommended me that I have to use Meld. So I tried Meld. Awesome, it's very user-friendly. Um, you can integrate and um, import your OBS settings already, like your scene collection and all that, your profile, you could upload it to Meld. Which is a good thing because if you already have an OBS prior to that, you could just import it there. And so that's what I did. But the good thing, uh, but the bad thing about it is that I don't like the interface chat on it because I can't use my Twitch um, if I want to use some of the redeems or anything like that to interact with my viewers. I can't do it. Um, it has the integrated multi-stream on it as well, which is a good thing and it's free. You don't have to subscribe on Meld. But the chat interface, I was having issue with it. I just don't like it, I guess. I just so used to OBS that it has its own, um, you know, chat interface on it with Twitch because you do have to connect your account with Twitch and everything. But yeah, with Mel, it, I didn't get that, that chat interface on it. But anyway, um, also one thing I don't like about Mel is the audio mixer. 
and I don't know why, but um, you know how like when Twitch, you don't want to copyright strike your music if you're playing something on your VODs during your live stream? So that was the issue for me because you can't even filter your audios. Like they have their integrated um, magic brush or something like that in the audio mixer, but I don't know, it's just not working for me. When I tried Mel, um, when I was live on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, the VOD on YouTube still potentially strike me for a uh, copyright, um, not entirely copyright strike, but it's still potential issue. So even though I excluded my VOD music um, on my audio directly because uh, with Meld, it has that option. It still came out on Twit. I mean, on YouTube. So it didn't really help me a lot. So there was a couple of issues with Meld, but overall, Meld is still good. It's a good live studio for a lot of new um, users um, who are just starting off, uh, you know, as a streamer. They can still use the the live studio. I'm not saying you can't. You just have to really get used to it. Um, especially if you are a content creator that has been using OBS for so long, so you're used to the technicality of it and a lot of the plugins that you've already used and so used to using it. So that's why. But I then went back to OBS after resolving the issue of what happened to my PC, what causes the crashes. So I went back and I downloaded the ATM multi stream suite as well. And because of that, I also able to have a layout of vertical um, interface for me to be able to stream on TikTok if I want to. And it's free. But for right now, because it's still on beta, uh, beta uh, testing, um, just make sure that if you ha do want to download ATM multi-stream, just uh, make sure that you still have the OPS studio on file. Because that's where um, it will, it's gonna function better. Um, other than that, I think everything works okay now. I did stream yesterday for about six hours, um, playing a game, and no crashes whatsoever. I think I may have resolved um, what I had to enable on my BIOS in terms of like the performance of my PC, and it works better now. And thankfully, um, I was able to get back to OBS as well. Um, after using all two of the other live studio, um, my honest review is that I still went back to OBS because I'm so used to it. I'm not saying you can't use the other two. It's really just up to you if you want to try it. Um, and tell me about what your experience. Maybe we can talk about that. Because for right now, um, in this video, I'm just sharing what my experience is for the past few days. And I want to make sure that if you have any idea or suggestions, um, um, please comment below. I would love to hear it. And also, using my VTube Studio, I was using 4K and maybe it's just overloading my CPU and GPU performance um, before I enabled and resolved the issue of what causes the crashes on my PC. So I went and downgraded my VTube Studio to 2K. And with this model, which is Prism customizable model, you can actually just use 2K because the quality of the um, model is crispy enough that it doesn't matter if it's 4K or 2K anyway. Um, so now I'm using 2K and it still works. So anyway, I think that's it guys. I don't want this video to be too long, but please catch me on streaming. Mostly I do stream daily, but right now um, I just want to focus on trying to put some more content on other platforms. So please do uh, give me some suggestions in the comments if you like uh, what I can do uh, to give you more content. Or maybe what video I need to do. Um, gameplays I do stream um, on some of the things that I post on my YouTube. Um, like shorts and things like that. But catch me on Twitch. Um, for right now, it's Thursday to Sunday, which is 3 o'clock EST. And I hope to see you guys there. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.